Have you recently purchased a sparkle sparkling water machine? This machine carbonates your beverages without the carbon dioxide tanks like SodaStream uses. Instead, it uses special sachets to create carbon dioxide naturally for your beverage. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and one advantage of the sparkle machine is that if you don't want to pay for and deal with the waste from these small plastic sachets, you can make your own carbonator. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it and an early heads up that if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful to please hit that like button and give me a sub since it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy and learn from. If you're not familiar with Sparkle and how it works, check out my full review or my head-to-head -head comparison with SodaStream right here on the YouTube channel. So first off, what is the Sparkle carbonator made up of? The carbonator is just two things, citric acid and sodium bicarbonate, each in its own little packet. Sparkle says this combination mixes with the water and generates carbon dioxide gas naturally. Citric acid is found naturally in citrus fruits, especially in things like lemons and limes. It's what gives them their tart, sour taste. Now, a powdered form of citric acid is commonly used as an additive for food and cleaning products, and it's also used as a preservative. It's largely odorless and colorless, and you can get it at soap making or natural health food stores, or you can also find it on Amazon. I will make sure to put a link below. Now you'll be familiar with sodium bicarbonate under another name. Yes, it's baking soda. This powder gives, its, uh, gives lift, I guess, to baked goods and creates those lovely air pockets and things like cakes and muffins. You can, of course, get it in grocery stores in the boxes here, or you can pick it up in bulk to save money. Now here is how to use these two things to make your own sparkle carbonator powder. I measured out sparkle sachets with measuring spoons, so this isn't super precise, but it did work for me. To make your own sparkle carbonator powder, measure one tablespoon of citric acid and just under one tablespoon of baking soda. Pour them into your sparkle machine and close the lid, then go through the carbonation process as you normally would. This hack works just as well as using the company's own branded sachets, and it is less expensive and creates less waste. So that is how you can DIY your Sparkle. Of course, you can also keep it simple and just order the sachets right from Sparkle or pick them up at the store wherever you got your machine from. That is definitely an option too. If you want to read more about what I've shown you here, uh, head over to techgadgetscanada.com. I've also got blogs about Sparkle versus SodaStream and how they compare, plus a detailed review of the Sparkle. I'm Erin. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and give me a sub since it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Until the next time, you can find me on Twitter or Instagram at ErinLYYC. You can also find me at Facebook.com slash TechGadgetsCanada.